welcome to today's episode of K-Squared. Today's topic for discussion, gang violence within the community. Growing up in London for me was kind of kind of crazy and fun at the same time. Um, those that know me, I was part of the Untouchable Gang. So we was running around doing all kinds of silly stuff. I mean, stuff that, now that I look back at it, I, wasn't, I can't say I was proud of it. But you know, you grow up and you do silly things. Um, today, I've lost well over 45 friends to, to, to murders, stabbings, shootings. When I look around today at what's going on in our community today, these young kids dying like weekly, the amount of kids that are getting stabbed and shot, it's, 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 kind of, it's heartbreaking and at the same time, it's very concerning, especially as I have um, children that fit the same demographic um, as some of these kids that are being killed and some of these kids that are doing the killing. A lot of the time, we look to us as adults for the answers, whereas I think we need to talk and listen to some of these young people, man, what they're going through and the reasons why they do some of the things that they do and hear from them. So I wanted to, you know, get the, um, the view and the, and the opinion and just the mindset of two young people that mean a lot to me. So my son and his good friend and my other son, <laughs> Tay. Hey, my name's Tay, Tay Musa, as people know me. Um, I'm from West London. When I travel to certain areas um, in London, I do feel safe. For example, in West London, where I'm from, I feel safe because I know everyone. Like, I'd have to look behind my back and be like, you know, is this guy going to run up on me, in it? But when I go to other places like South, where I'm not from, or East London, I've got to like, keep my awareness and just be like, yeah, I don't know these areas, just keep it moving and just do what I've got to do. I don't know if there's any solution to ending any gang violence as I feel like that's their lifestyle and when they put in music they're just telling you that's their lifestyle, that's how they live. Distance yourself away from those people that are bringing you down. If you want to be someone, like go study, go find yourself in it. You could, like, you could have a hidden talent that you don't even know of as well because I feel like most people that tend to do Violence, it's because they're hurt inside. They, they can't get their words out, so they tend to hurt other people. So, like, <laughs> I know you ain't good, yeah. but what is the problem, bro? Come on, like, to, like how, what is the problem, and how do we fix this? These people, they act like they're, I mean, some of them, they act like they're, they're hard and it, but deep down, need a it's hug. love that they need a hug. <laughs> you just need a hug, man. Give me a hug, man. That's, that's what they need. So you say that, I mean, so am I right in saying that parenting? Yeah, plays, I think it plays a massive, massive role. role. Massive role. Because when you're, when you're a child, um, the first lessons that you're taught is from your parents. Okay. So it's like, whatever you learn from that, you take that, and then you carry on with life from that. So, so whatever they've taught you, that's, yeah. So, do you, so like, I mean, a lot of the time they say absent fathers, are a, a big part of mm. why a lot of our young men yeah. are getting on with madness to sound there. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you, if I wasn't in your life, mm -hmm. right? And be honest, mm -hmm. you can say I'm a shit dad. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not, mm -hmm. because I'm a shit dad. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if I wasn't in your life, yeah. how do you think that would have impacted you in regards to the roads and the streets? Do you think, like, I feel like I would have been like craving that role, that role model to look up to and somebody that could, because there's times where, like, obviously I don't know everything, so I come to guidance for you, innit? Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of the time, it's like, that guidance, if I didn't have that there, then I'd probably be, yeah, no, I would be in a different position. Like, the positivity and the mentality that I have today, I wouldn't have, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to bounce back from certain challenges, and it would, yeah, certain obstacles, it would have taken me a lot more to... Do you, would you, so your friends, so, yeah. I know you've got friends, or you know people that have been stabbed, or involved yeah. in violence, like, what do you do to try and steer them away? Like, do you try and talk to them? I mean, like, do they, do they even listen? Like, just, you know what it is? It, I mean, I, I, know of, I know a lot of people that are in, um, like, gang crime, but what well, I used to, I kind of stayed far from them because, but the, the road so to the man, I'm not gonna lie though, like, I swear down, there was a time, it came on TV one time and this guy got stabbed, he was in West London, and mm. my heart, you know, do you know my heart? Like, I can't even explain it. Like, my heart, my heart went to a place where, like, I found myself in tears, and it, and it wasn't even that it was you. Mm. It was just a thought of losing the loop. Could be. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So when I think about all these parents out here mm. that are getting the news of their kids being stabbed or killed, like how it must be for them, man. Mm. Like, 
and then how they would bounce back from it. Like, how, 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 how? Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Mm. And we're losing, we're losing kids like every every week now. Yeah, yeah. Like, are you not? I mean, seriously, like, are you, London, London, London has one of the highest rates, isn't it? It's crazy, man. Do you not feel? I mean, I'm not saying scared because you're not really built like that no, to be scared. It's not saying. Do you not feel like? It's not a matter of fear. It's just like so. I know there's a lot of young people out there that don't have their dads or their parents in their life. Like, you see, from like, like, be honest, from your perspective, what have I done? That's do you think that's kept you away from all this, or what could I do to continue keeping you away? Like, is you know what I mean? It'd be good to, to kind of know where I'm getting right because I've got you've got younger brothers. Mm. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? So, so obviously, um, everyone knows you're a director, and so in terms of like feel, the film aspect, I remember before when we done it only when I was like year eight. Um, I think from there it was kind of like I knew I wanted to do filming, innit? and without that whole experience of me, you know, bonding, filming, um, becoming a character, and just bringing my own influence to the whole project, I don't think I would, I would really be interested in the career field that I'm in. So, so it's about you. So I'm right in saying that it's about spending time, yeah, and helping your and doing yeah. positive things with your kids, yeah. and helping your children find their right path because. I feel like a lot of parents they they want their children to become a nurse or, or a doctor or just just the, like the kind of they don't want them to chase chase their dreams, innit? They want so them to do chase work. their dreams. Yeah. Your parents, they, yeah. They, they find it unrealistic what someone can actually do. That's like my mum. My mum was like, ah, "You're going to be a doctor. <laughs> you're going to be a lawyer." Yeah. But now you're okay. directing. Yeah, now I'm directing yeah. films. Yeah. I mean, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you're, ah, I don't want you to be a. Yeah, but on the flip side, like, on the flip side, they're, like, they're not doing it because. They don't want you to be successful. They're doing it because mm -hmm. they're looking at it from their own perspective, where they've come from. Mm -hmm. They don't see these these big dreams like a singer or a model mm -hmm. act, or they don't see it as um, achievable, which is, is bad. But maybe that's how they've been grown or how what they've experienced. So when we say that, it's kind of like mm, you'll be mm, go find a job at a school or yeah. something. <laughs> so what so what what advice would you give to like? Do you know what I mean? If you was talking to, I guess. Because I go into prisons mm -hmm. and I go into schools mm -hmm. and I talk to a lot of these kids mm -hmm. and I try and talk to them on a level about this whole gang thing and crime yeah. thing. Um, but I'm a big man and I'm an adult to them and they say, but sir, you don't know what it's like. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I know what it's like. Mm -hmm. But what advice would you give to people of your own age, your own peers, and you know what I mean, to mm -hmm. stay out of trouble? What, like, what would you say to them? I would be honest by saying that there's not, there's not much that anyone can do to stay out of it, but there's a lot that you can do to kind of you can avoid it, but you can't stay out of it completely because anything can happen to anyone. True. So it's like you can avoid it as much as you can per se, but the, what you can actually do is just, yeah, just chase your dreams, um, spend time with your family, bond, um, just admit positive vibes, man. You know what's important, uh, I've always said this, you, like whenever, like, you're never alone, innit? Like mm. you must reach out, but what do you think, man? Whether it's your brother, your sister, your mum. I think at least what, once a week, like at least once a week or twice a week, speak to someone, innit? Mm. So, Someone like because there's a lot of people that deep down they want to speak to someone but they hold it in and that mm -hmm. can it backfires in the end. If you hold everything in, it's like it comes, it comes out in a different yeah, way and you don't want it to come out. So it's like I, I think everyone, there's, there's, everyone's got someone they can talk to. No, I agree. I, I definitely agree. Especially Instagram as well. It's like these social platforms. I feel like a lot of people use them for the wrong reasons. Like, mm. um, if you're kind of venting to social media, not the whole of social media, but if you have someone that you can vent to or there's pages with quotes that can uplift your spirit. Yeah, the quotes and yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those things, if you, even YouTube, type in motivational videos and there's videos that you can wake up to, go to sleep to, so that it's fresh in your brain. And mm. yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of things that you can do, like by yourself even, if there is no one. I had, this, I had this guy actually, he hit me up a while ago telling me he was going through stuff, mm. he wanted to commit suicide, mm. he was getting bullied and all the rest of it. Mm. And um, he hit me up on Insta and he inboxed me. Mm. And I, I was talking to him for a while, mm. then he ghosted for a while. I was like, I was giving, you know, what happened to the guy? Yeah. And just the other day, he hit me back, telling me thank you for listening to me, now I'm getting uni. Yeah. Um, do you know what I mean? It's like, things like that, like one person's change, one yeah, person's, one person's life, man. So that to me meant a lot, mm. and it proves that there are people out there that need help, mm. but also there's people out there like me, mm. I guess, and you, mm. that want to listen, because I know a lot of people, I see what goes on your page, where people inbox you mm. or message you, saying thanks, young crew, man, for listening, and you're, you're so inspirational, man. So if we can save one life, yeah, yeah, yeah. we've done more. Yeah. Then, then, you know what I'm saying? It's about saving lives out here and coming together as a community. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people, they're scared to tell their story. Mm. So it's like, they're scared of how they might be judged or, or looked at, but like, 
being fearful of that isn't going to change the situation. So I feel like a lot of people need to just just talk. Strangers, even strangers, like just strangers, the best, you know, yeah, they wanna, they're not going to judge you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to see them again. Exactly. Like, look at my life and my story. And for a long time, I never used to tell you stuff about me. Mm. But now you're older, yeah, yeah. I tell you, I'm honest with you. And you know a lot about me. And that way it allows you to be able to look at the mistakes that I made and the life that I lived, you don't have to live that life no more. So, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm Freddie Nawaka. I'm Malakai Nawaka. And you've been watching K-Square. If anyone's been affected by any of the issues you've spoken about, please feel free to drop a comment and we'll get back to you. Yeah, if, you, if you've got the solution or any ideas, or maybe you've got a story that you can tell us and share with us, drop a comment below, man, or just get in touch with us, man. You know what I'm saying? Until next time, keep it K-Square.